Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share one little bitty shift you can make <laughs> in the way you're showing up out there in the world that will make a huge difference in the way you connect with and attract quality men into your life. This is a powerful concept. It came up actually on a coaching call that I had today and I was like, I need to make a video about this immediately. And for those of you that don't know, my name is Matt. I'm an empowerment and relationship coach for women and I love these sort of principles and concepts. I love helping women create and manifest a sort of like incredibly dynamic, fulfilling attraction and relationships with men that you are so worthy of. And we're gonna dive into this topic. This is really gonna make a huge difference in your relationships, but before we do, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click that link in the comments and caption because I have created an amazing free gift that's gonna make a huge difference in your connections and relationships with men. So I wanna start off this video with a story. <laughs> the story that uh, my client shared is that she was out to dinner. She was out to a birthday dinner with her two daughters who are beautiful, beautiful uh, women in their early 20s, you know, and she's out to dinner with her daughters. And in the past, when she's gone out to dinner with her daughters, she's been very protective over them right? Because she has had bad experiences in the past with men sort of approaching her in a predatory way, and she didn't want any of that for her daughters, which is understandable, right? So in the past, she would always be protective over her daughters and have a very closed off energy and not let anyone really connect with or approach any of them. But on this occasion, she just decided to go out and have fun <laughs> with her daughters and to laugh and to play and to just have a good time. So they're out there sitting by the water, playing and having a good time and laughing. They were watching the boats out of the harbor and being like, oh, wouldn't it be fun if one of us ended up with a boat guy so that uh, you know we could all go out on boats and drink wine and have, a, have an awesome time. So she's just joking around with her daughters you know, and having a blast. And while this was happening, three different men actually approached them just to chat and to actually play around with them and to connect with them. And she got to have some really fun conversations, some really polarized conversations, right? Where she was in her feminine and he was in his masculine. And she was like, wow, this is really interesting because normally, obviously, they don't get approached when they're out in public or she doesn't normally get that approached that often, you know, when she's out in public in this way. And she realized, and what we realized as we were talking together was that the way of being that she embodied was playfulness. And playfulness is one tiny little shift you can make in the way that you're showing up, in the way that you're being out in the world that will make a huge difference in the way men see and respond to you. Are you being playful out in the world? Because the way I like to describe it is, you know, every man is at heart, he's a little boy a little boy who is dying to play. He doesn't get a lot of opportunities to play in his normal day-to-day -day life. But when you embody playfulness and you invite him into that space, when you tease him a little bit, when you ask him questions, when, you, when you're making jokes, when you're operating from that space and the two of you are laughing together, it brings you into the present moment and it creates a shared moment. It creates a shared experience and that is magic. I know in my own uh, relationship with Callie, my amazing partner, uh, in the early stages of us dating, one of the things I cherished about the most with her is uh, I love Saturday Night Live, right? And I would put on these old Saturday Night Live clips, <laughs> you know, and, and she loved them. And we would just sit there on the couch and we would just laugh and laugh at these Saturday Night Live clips. And it really, it made me fall in love with her even more. And it made me just love being around her even more because there was this element of playfulness and being able to just like laugh at the same ridiculous stuff together. So I want you to think of it like this. When you embody playfulness in the way you're showing up with your friends, in the way you're showing up out in the world, it's like a fire. It's like this beautiful fire that emanates this warmth. And it's the sort of warmth that men are craving and loving being around. It's sort of warmth we want to be around. And so we are going to do, just like we like to go up to a fire and warm our hands by it, whenever we experience a woman who's in this playful, magnetic, open space, it is, it's literally like a magnet. It's like a fire that we just want to approach and we just want to warm ourselves by it. We just want to be around it. We don't even necessarily have an agenda right? Uh, it's just really enjoyable to cultivate that sort of like spark and that polarity and that fire with, uh, with the feminine. 
So I want you to check in with yourself and I want to give you a challenge, right, coming out of this video is that can you uh, commit to embodying playfulness out in the world? Can you commit to laughing and playing with your friends, making jokes, being open, just in doing things that you, having fun, having fun out in the world and in your life and in your social relationships? Because if you do that, I guarantee you it is going to make you significantly more magnetic. You will start being approached more, especially if you and your friends are like going out to a bar, you're going out to a social place with an open transition of people and you're being playful and fun and light and having a great time people are going to want to be around that energy. They're going to want to warm themselves by your fire. And so I invite you to get out there and do that and have a blast. That simple tiny shift is going to make a huge difference in the sort of men that you attract and the sort of dynamics that you have with them. Have fun, right? If you're not having fun, then what is the point? So have a blast, but before you do, take a second, click that little subscribe button, and don't forget to click that link in the comments and caption because I have created some awesome training that will make a huge difference in your connections and relationships with men. And thanks so much for stopping by. And before you go, be sure to click on this next video. In this next video, I'm gonna share with you 10 signs that a man is emotionally investing in you. This is an absolutely huge uh, video that will share with you so many. It's like a window into the minds of men <laughs> that'll help you understand why men, why men uh, emotionally attach and how to identify if they are. So check that out and I will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Number one is they embrace your flaws with open arms and a smile. And this reminds me of a really great quote, that we come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly.